Hey you guys, I am Flight Attendant Jojo. We are in Melbourne, Australia. I am gonna take you all over Melbourne to my favorite coffee, food, anything that I can consume, I will show you. If you're not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it so much. So, first stop, some coffee. shopping and trendy food spots cafes it is not exactly the city but it's pretty close to the city so if you're wanting to branch out this area This is Rustica. It's one of our favorite places to get coffee in Melbourne. You could probably go anywhere in Melbourne and get a really good coffee and pastry. This area is very trendy. We've seen famous people here before. You could easily do a catch up or a business meeting and you'll even see people working on their laptops here. 10 out of 10 recommend. Going from Turok to the CBD, just pop on the metro and you'll be there in like 10 minutes. never skip this spot when I'm in the CBD. It is a French creperie and I'm pretty sure French people actually work here so it feels very authentic. This time we got a banana chocolate crepe and you guys they have gluten-free ones and regular ones. You can also take them to go in case the line is too long and then we go and eat them by the water. But the gluten-free ones are not as good if you take them to go. There is a chance it will be burnt if you take it to go. And I'm gonna be honest, this was our first time eating it in and it made it so much better for me. Wow, the crepes are so good. I'm ready for some lunch. We'll go to Thai food, but first maybe coffee shopping in the laneways. So there's a coffee shop here, but our favorite place to get gelato in Melbourne, right here. There's also one in a laneway, but this is comparable, I think, to the laneways. Piccolina. This is a gelateria and there is a few of them in Melbourne. So if you come across it, absolutely stop off, try it. They'll tell you which flavors are gluten-free. And we can have this discussion in the comments. Are you more of an ice cream person or a gelato person? Marcus always gets the honeycomb and honestly, it slaps. I got the chocolate. If this is your first time to Australia, try the honeycomb. I don't feel like it's very common in the US to do honeycomb ice cream. And apparently it's more of an Australian thing. So try it. Here's the deal. We have walked or taken public transport everywhere, like a metro, train, whatever. You can easily get around to all these locations without taking a taxi or an Uber. And <laughs> we are now walking off our ice cream to then just go eat some more food. <laughs> Spot is packed and for good reason, they make it simple. You either have white coffee or you have black coffee. You can also get the filter coffee. So it's really not a hangout spot. You just go in, grab your coffee. It's very busy there. When we're trying to add some extra steps, we will head to this location for a little pick me up. Okay, this next place, we never ever miss coming to it, ever, because it's so good. And they own a few different restaurants here in Melbourne. It's such a good little walk. You gotta 
pass by the graffiti. Just don't miss out on the walking around Melbourne. So you'll find that in Melbourne they do a ton of fusion food. So this is Thai fusion. Last night we went to a steakhouse. Argentinian Italian, Italian fusion. This would be like Thai and Australian. <laughs> That's the fusion that's happening. One of our favorite breakfast spots is down there. Let me know if you guys like this video so much and we will make a part two. How much of a girl dinner vlog is this? I promise you it is not just crepes, gelato, coffee, more coffee, and more coffee. We are getting real food now. If you ask me where to eat in Melbourne, this is my number one suggestion. The Wagyu noodles. Do not skip out on them. All the flavors are so fresh and so bold. You have to go here and at night it becomes a bar. It's not just a restaurant. It has all the vibes like the lighting, the cocktails. It screams, we're going to have a good time. The menu already states what's vegan and vegetarian, but if you want the gluten free, you have to ask the server and they will circle everything you can have. Or maybe they circle everything you can't have, but they're really helpful when making a decision. The next spot is floating right in the middle of the Yarra River. Come here if you're looking for a drink at any time of the day. This is the perfect spot for everyone. Finish off your evening by being transported to Greece. Kid you not, this Greek food is amazing. Melbourne's known for its Greek food, but this place just does it. And they have gluten-free pita bread. Where do you ever find gluten-free pita bread? We were already full from the Thai, but I did not care how full I was because I was not missing out on this meal. Wow, 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 you guys. I am so excited to show you something. As you know, my husband is from Melbourne, or if you don't know, my husband is from Melbourne. I am from LA, Melbourne in Australia, not Melbourne in Florida. We come to visit our family and friends multiple times a year. We decided this time to stay longer at an Airbnb where it's a bit more affordable, but in a place that we want to live. By the water in the CBD isn't really where we would move if we came to Melbourne. Over here in Turak, South Yara, that's where we decided to get this Airbnb. That I'm gonna show you in just a second. It's a dream. Never mind, let me just give you a tour. I'll try my best to link this Airbnb below. It is a one bedroom, one bath with a balcony. You can see the CBD from the balcony. There wasn't a ton of amenities with this Airbnb, but it did have a sauna downstairs, which absolutely had me sold. We invited our friends and family over. They had an area for Marcus to work. Obviously, I just lounge on the bed all day. The check-in process at this spot was super easy. I thought the bed would be more comfortable. It was like a five out of 10, but we really picked this place because of the walking distance it is to everything else. So you guys remember Brie, she is a Virgin Australia flight attendant from previous vlogs. We are gonna go catch up and get some coffee. <laughs> wow, I'm just finishing editing this vlog. I'm on a layover right now. I'm wearing the same shirt as before. I loved catching up with Brie. If you haven't seen her channel, go check out her channel. She's really fun to follow. I actually just finished watching one of her vlogs. I hope you are having some lovely holidays. Merry Christmas, you guys. If you're seeing this, at a time that's not Christmas time. Then I really hope you enjoyed all the locations I gave to you in Australia. If you're looking for a part two, I always go back to Australia and I can't wait to show you more of my favorite spots. Love you guys.